fogging up the glasses again. <laughs> good morning, and uh, welcome to Friday Thoughts, Living Faithfully Together. It's good to be with you each Friday, to find a way to connect with you, and, and not in some uh, always well thought out format, but just the conversational talk with you. And I, I begin today literally wearing the mask because it's such an important piece of our life together these days. Uh, I want to begin with a quote that Kathy gave to me earlier this week that has really uh, been important for me to think on all week long. I want to begin with that and then branch off of that today. Uh, it's called Remembering Our Way Forward. It's a quote from Gabriel Garcia Marquez. What matters in life is not what happens to you, but what you remember and how you remember it. Let me quote that once more. What matters in life is not what happens to you, but what you remember and how you remember it. That's important. I find myself wondering almost every day, not just what's happening to us because of a pandemic and what's going on around us, but how am I remembering it? What am I learning from this? And how am I going to remember this as I look back in the future? I want you to understand, I'm as frustrated as anybody about not being able to see my grandkids, it's over a year, not being able to see my kids, not being able to connect with family in the same way at Thanksgiving. We're all in that place. But if that's all I'm going to remember, then my life's not going to change much. I want to challenge you today to give some thought to what you're remembering, how you're going to remember it. And as we come into this uh, next weekend and into Thanksgiving week, I hope that our thoughts are more focused on the gifts of God, the blessings of family, the profound things that we have been, that we can cherish, and the ways in which we are working together. I want to acknowledge uh, with you today, we just looked it up here before I, we started this, the COVID numbers in Chisago County. A few weeks ago, we were just at 200. We are now at 2,547 cases, total cases in our county. Last week we were at one death, we are now up to seven. And there were 82 new cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. The chart, is, it's, it's, it's skyrocketing off the charts. Those numbers are nothing to sneeze at. And so as I interact with members and talk with them, the reality is that COVID has affected many of our families, many of our church families. And for some, it's, it's uh, maybe a sibling or a brother or sister, uh, someone in the family tree that has come down with COVID, some who have lost loved ones, some who are actually on a ventilator right now um, and struggling to survive. And others have had COVID with less severe responses uh, but it's there in our families. Some are on the road to recovery, and we're grateful for that. But this is not something that we can just pretend is going to go away. And so I want to say to you, let's be responsible. Let's wear our masks. Let's social distance. And as you think about Thanksgiving, please be cautious about distancing, wearing a mask, um, limiting your exposure to one another. If kids are coming home from college, be careful with that. Let's not let that become a super spreader. Let's really think about the gift of those we cherish and love. We have made decisions here at Trinity, yes, to not have indoor, in-person worship because of what the numbers are doing with the schools closing and all. We would love to find a way. I find myself every day as I think about Thanksgiving and coming of Christmas, I'm well aware of my own feelings of loss and grief because I miss you. I miss seeing you. I miss interacting with you. But we can pick up the phone. We can find ways to connect. And I'm so thankful that here at Trinity, we continue every month to try to find a way to, to build up that connection with one another, to let people know we care. Last week, 36, 38 uh, care packages went out to teaching staff and administrators, people connected to the school system. And the response, I wish you could have been there to see that to some people. One home we stopped by and the teacher just burst into tears as a way of saying thank you for remembering us. 
we're looking at how we could do that for healthcare workers as well. And I am excited to say that we are actively uh, being part of the community Thanksgiving meal, the one that will be happening at Chisago Lake Lutheran, as it has done in the past, but this year uh, with limited volunteers, with pickup for meals, um, and the effort we're doing to provide deliveries. We're working co collaboratively with that uh, to make some things possible. So if you have a need for a Thanksgiving meal this year, um, please call the office, let us know. We are prepared. We've had volunteers to drive and deliver and we want to take advantage of, uh, we want to make use of that and we want to be able to provide for you a sense of connection but also uh, a resource that will meet your need uh, for, for this particular Thanksgiving that will be different. And in the meantime, uh, if you can't gather with family, which Kathy and I won't be, like so many, let's be thinking about those family members that we cherish in love. Let's say a prayer for them. But let's make a choice not to be together this year so that we can be together next year. And I'm grateful for the news that vaccines are coming, that they appear to be effective. Um, but until that happens, we have to do the responsible thing for ourselves, for one another, uh, for the most vulnerable among us. Um, so let's, let's be thoughtful of that. Uh, and let's consider well that what happens, what matters in life is not simply what happens to us, but it's how we remember it and what we remember. And I hope we will remember the incredible gracious goodness of God and the gift of community and what it means to participate in that together. So I want to end today simply with a prayer of remembering that I received from Kathy this week, a good reminder for me and I hope for you as well. Will you please pray with me? Gracious God, it is when we are still that we know. It is when we listen that we hear. It is when we remember that we see your light, O oh God. So from your stillness we come. With your sound, all of life quivers with being. It is from you, O oh God, the light of this moment shines. So grant us to remember you at the heart of each and every moment. Grant us the gift to remember. We pray this in your holy and precious name. Amen. Thanks. Good to talk with you. Hope to see you soon.